what we have here are two and say 50-50s. I've received them today. I've unlocked one of them for the extra channels and the extra 4 watts. The other one, I've unlocked the 4 watts and the um, security encryption. However, I've left the other channels locked. As you can see, when they're scanning, and the one on the right scans a lot more than the one on the left. Fairly quick at scanning. As you can see. Right, I took them out today, and this is in a built up area, um, three miles. This is a built up area, don't forget, not in the country. Um, this is on four watts. Reception was excellent. Um, fantastic bit of kit, really, for the price. Um, I think 65 quid, I think there was each, something like that. And um, it's got quite a few options on them. They've got, uh, like I said, security encryption. They've got your basic Roger Bleep. Um, what else you've got? You've got your call, you've got your scan. But you monitor, we can monitor some channel, different channels at the same time. And as you can see, excellent bit of kit. Alright, what they I've also got is sub channels. Um, I'll just stop the scan for a second. Um, wait a minute, there we go. As you can see, that's on P6. And sub channel 35, and you can obviously change those by pressing the menu key, as you can see. You go down, and go back up again, and just press the, the call key to um, accept it. And um, so the amount of channels on here is quite substantial. Um, don't say expect to go around picking. Uh, and it's all been to amount of people talking on them because while you will catch or hear a few people talking they're not what you call a scanner as such they're not built to scan hundreds and hundreds of different frequencies all the time if you just listen to all the time I don't think but obviously there are there are um, mobile radio and that hence that's what they're supposed to be used for. Um, so if that's what you want you'd be disappointed in that area because with the um, security on them people can scramble their channels. So you'll you're only hear a gobbledy gook anyway. So um, if a secure conversation between two and then a reasonable dif dif um, distance I would say um, I found them to be excellent. I mean, I know you can get an extra kit for them for the um, aerial and the um, to make it a longer aerial, etc. Um, but for what I need it for, um, I don't think I'll bother with the kit to be honest. Um, so if you like them, uh, I'm sure you can see them on the net everywhere. People have sell them. Um, go buy some. Um, there was one disappointment when I got on though, only one of the pack, battery packs was missing. So I had to ring up and uh, get that back, so um, I'm waiting for that now. But I'll just put some normal batteries in the one on the left. And um, some ethnic ones on the other one. But you have to um, remember that when you put normal alkaline batteries in them, there's a little switch in the battery compartment that you have to alter, uh, basically to tell it what sort of batteries they are and um, why I don't know but you do um, I actually didn't do it to start with and um, but it still works so I don't know why the need for that is really but battery charging from flat it says approximately 12 hours from dead flat um, I put the rechargeable batteries in and um, I don't know if you can see it but they're still 
This is from this morning, don't forget. It's now a quarter weight at night. Um, still a reasonable amount of charge in them, to be honest. Considering I'm not charged them at all yet. Um, you've got your on and off switch here. It's a digital squelch. It's a digital squelch, not a, there isn't a knob that controls the squelch like on the old CB radios. It's a, a um, digital squelch. And at the back you've got your, your clip belt obviously and your compartment for your, your batteries and in there is where you do your little trick to make it a little 4 watt masterpiece. You've got your, just here you've got your, um, if I can get it open that is, there you go, there you've got your two pin earphone socket with your mic and your charger as well goes in there or you can buy one off the internet it's got a double like a sit down line like you know, the old phone ones that sits down on it there's a few of those on that as well that's where you push the torque obviously it's just a it's a very sturdy I'm, so I've been surprised about it as well it's actually a very sturdy piece of kit it's not it doesn't feel cheap I, I say it was 68 pounds I think it, it feels a lot dearer um, even the, the covering this plastic covering it is quality it's not like you know the cheap rubber that you flick back and it just it won't stay short as you can see it, it's quite difficult again when to, to open it so you won't actually do it accidentally um, I mean, obviously it's plastic, but it's a it's a, it's a very durable, um, non-cheap kind, if you like. Um, so all in all, I've been very pleased with it to now. Obviously, I'm not them today. Um, and if you're in a closed environment where you're using them, say in the same building, for example, you can actually turn the four watts down to 0 0.5. I think it is down to half a watt if you wish. Um, which would be ample if you're in the same room or same building that is. Um, but if you want, if you're going out camping or uh, shopping, you know, I think you're um, excellent bit of kit. Excellent. They're a little bit bigger than what you would normally associate with giving a child the safety, let's say. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily think there'd be much use for that because you don't usually let your children too far away you know like for example you know on a good day clear you, sh you should get a fair distance with these um, and if, uh, if your child's are old enough to go that far then you know maybe they'll have a phone or whatever but for the local park you know 12 13 year old or whatever absolutely fine um, Younger children, you can get these smaller walkie talkies that are a lot cheaper. Um, might be as reliable, I don't think. Um, especially if you're in a built up area. Um, in a built up area, these are absolutely was excellent at 4 watts. Um, I did purchase a pair a few days ago from Argos. I was trying to go cheap about 45 quid and the range was diabolical um, you're talking hundreds of meters and then they start to lose the quality um, in built up areas whereas these I didn't even notice any degradation until the two and a half mile was reached and even then um, and you click it to transmit, you see that's how much power you're pushing out on 4 watts quite a lot um, but now I was quite surprised I, um, at the distance with them I'm actually going to go in the country um, very shortly, not today but I will do and um, I saw I'll get a pure line of sight reading from them and just to see how far I can get them with them but uh, all in all, very happy with them um, and if you like them, go buy them.